Hello everyone. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? What is this UI? Look at the servers, they're squares. They're not even circles, the servers are literally squares. What is that? It looks like it's a 200 resolution. What's going on? Well guys, Discord has done it again. They have once again made an update that no one was asking for and that nobody was giving two thoughts about since last Saturday. They've just fixed something that literally does not need to be fixed. What is going on here? Hello guys, before this video starts, I want to quickly go over the sponsor of today's video, discordlisting.com. This site allows you to add your server and list it so then other people can join online. And this website is completely free. You could also choose custom tags to list your servers so then people can actually find the communities that they want to join. There's different tags like community, gaming, giveaways, business, entertainment, and so many more that you could choose from. Once again, it's completely free. The link is in the description below if you want to try out this new Discord listing site. Anyways though, right back to the video. Well, anyways, in today's video, I'm going to, I guess, go over the different changes that they brought with this new UI update. And man, I, I still can't get over the, the difference. It's really big of a change. I don't mind the bubble look, but it's really, it's really weird that the proportions seem off to me. But anyways, let's just, let's see what they've done here and let's see uh, what is new. Okay, so first thing I want to point out, they actually added some new default themes. So they added a new theme. Well, they act, well, they split it up into four now. Instead of two, there's now Light, Ash, Dark, and Onyx. Now, Onyx is actually a pretty cool update. If you actually check it out, it's a pitch black theme. It's actually really clean and it, it almost makes the dark theme look worse like this is actually a very clean theme and it seems the dark theme is i guess the the regular theme it looks a little bit darker than usual but i guess that's just how they used used the palette of it so it looks like the ash theme was the original color so if you want it to look the same color that it was then you choose ash Art, dark is just a darker version of the regular color uh, in terms of icons, they're all pretty much the same. Nothing new there. So guys, the thing is, they've actually changed the UI of all the settings. Literally, all of these settings are completely, like, revamped. Like, how they look. I don't think it's necessarily not clean. Like, it is it is pretty nice. But it's, it's just such a big change that no one was asking for. Once again, I just want to reiterate that no one wanted this. <laughs> no one just said, oh, you know what, I think we should redo the entire UI of Discord uh, desktop app because that's exactly what I want that's totally what I need right now is that not not any actual you know updates like you know updating guilds or anything like that just just redoing the whole UI <laughs> um, but anyways if you go to appearance there is these options here uh, to change the new UI's density now when you relaunch discord on the desktop app it'll actually show you uh, the different options here like when you first open the app it'll show you the new themes and it'll, it'll show you uh, this compaction that you could do with the UI um, so you could actually try the compact one so look at this so if you do compact everything's really I guess small I guess you could say but it's like it's so unproportionate like everything is so like sure it's small but it seems like some things are smaller than things or like some, some things are smaller than they should be and other things are bigger than they should be and if we try the spacious one it makes everything spaced out but everything it's like it's weird because the text is really small and then everything else is big and everything's spaced out weirdly everything seems off like everything seems off and i'm not just saying that if you look at my screen right now and i, I mean you could see this for yourself uh on your on your app but everything seems so disproportionate that it actually physically bothers me when i'm using discord that's how bad it is i just want to say that right now it's 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 that bad like i, was, I know i know we'll get used to it but i'm just saying they just fixed something that we did not need to fix and we did not ask for at all so the problem with this is you probably have to go into the scaling and all the spaces between text and stuff to actually make it look semi to what it looked before but even then though that would take a lot of tweaking and i don't actually know the right thing that you'd want to do to make it actually look really well uh, but overall though it's just so weird and i can't get over it but if you do want to revert your discord back to the regular version i will show you how right now okay so all you're gonna do is open up your vencord installer 
If you don't know how to install Dencord, I will have a link to that video in the description below to show you how to install it. Uh, but if you don't have it installed, you'll install it through that video. And then you'll come back to here and it'll open up like this. This is what the installer will look like. And all you're going to do is click install and it will patch the Discord on your PC. Then once you're done that, then you will restart your Discord and it will be applied to your Discord. Now I've already restarted Discord, so it's already applied to my Discord. But nonetheless though, that is what you will do. And then you'll go into the settings here and scroll all the way down and you'll see all the different tabs here that Vencord offers. But I'm going to show you how to revert this. So we're going to go to the experiments tab here. Then we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to search up uh, desktop visual refresh. And the very first one here, literally called desktop vi visual refresh, we're going to click on it. And then under bucket override, we're going to click select. And then we're going to click treatment zero control. Now, the second you click this, it will go back to the regular discord UI. So we actually could see here, there it is. The discord UI is totally back to normal. And look how much better the, the folders look. It looks so much better. Like putting these together, right? The, you know, they look like circles. By the way, server icons, they should be circles. I don't know why they're squares. That's so weird. Like it just doesn't make sense. Like when you make a logo, it's supposed to be circle. That's why it's a logo. Like when you have a profile picture, it's circle. And the thing is they kept the profile picture circle, but they didn't keep the server logo circle. Now, sure, you know, when you hover over the servers, it turns kind of into that square, but either way, it's it's just a really weird update. And if we actually revert back to it, now, just me looking at this, I'm already like, ah, oh, I already missed this UI. So that's, you know, what you could do to get it back. But if you want to disable it just to look at what it looked like before, just click this X button here and look at how bad this looks. Look at it. They're all squares. It's so weird. Like, why is the Discord service squares? It's so different. And I'm not saying different is a bad thing but no one asked for this once again i just want to say that literally no one asked for this as well as there was no issues with the old sure like you know a small change or like just you know adding new themes and stuff that's fine but changing the whole thing especially just you know the regular things we're used to like all the chats and the servers and stuff in such a big way is just so weird because they did it in such a weird way anyways though that is basically all I could say for now on this UI. I, I don't know too much uh, yet if they're going to be changing it or what's going on with it. Uh, another thing I want to mention before I end this video is they did add a new uh, game overlay as well. So I hope you check that out because it is act I think the game overlay update is actually a pretty cool feature. I might make a video on it. I'm not sure. Uh, but I just wanted to touch up on this UI because it's just it's so weird and it's just unnatural feeling almost. That's just how weird it is. It's, it's almost unnatural just how they scaled everything it's just so disproportionate but nonetheless though we'll live with it maybe it'll grow on us who knows i don't know maybe they'll change it but either way please like this video please share it with your friends because i bet they would want to see the news of this uh this uh update <laughs> if you know what i mean uh but anyways please subscribe we're going for 2000 subscribers and i'll see you guys in the next Discord tutorial. Bye bye.